Hi and welcome to another episode of Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this one we are going to show you how to troubleshoot two of the most common RGB systems found in your pre-built. Let's get started. All right, so we are starting off with our first RGB system that is usually found in your pre-builds, which is going to be this one right here. This is the SkyTech RGB uh, controller. And it usually comes with a remote like this one. Uh, it is off right now. We can turn it on by pressing that button. You can select different colors if you want to. And you have different modes. Um, just so I can give you a uh, an overview of this one, like the remote, the functions and everything. Um, this will be the different modes for it. So that will control your lights, uh, their patterns, their colors. And the S up here that will control the speed of the animation of the lights. If they're breathing, you can see they are breathing faster. If I put it lower, they're going to do it slower. And we have the brightness here. So you can choose to have it dim like so. Or if you keep pressing it, they become brighter. And lastly, these are the fan speeds. So if I press this, you can hear them spool up right there and if I press the the smaller fan uh, blade right here it'll make them run at a uh, slower rate so uh, basically that is the function of the remote uh, we're gonna go back now here to the uh, fans themselves now if your system is uh, basically once it's working well you can see all of these are lit but if one of them for example is not lit up uh, there's a trick to these fan controllers. You can see the labels here. It says fan 1, fan 2, fan 3. Uh, if by any... How do I say this? If by any chance one of these is plugged into fan 4 or, or another uh, sequence, uh, plug in the sequence here, you can see it's not lighting up because it needs a fan in each of these uh, sockets to be able to pass the signal through the next one. If there is a break on the chain here, then it's not gonna pass it towards the rest of this one. So one way to troubleshoot if your fan is uh, having the issue or if it is the controller is to unplug the fan. For example, this one is not working there. You can see this fan is working on the fan two slot. You can unplug that one and plug the other one here in its place and you can see that the fan is working well now if you plug this one into another slot like fan 3 here and it lights up then your fan is okay if however it does not light up and it still shows the same symptoms as it did when it was on the original slot here then you might have a problem with the fan itself and if that's the case, just contact customer service. We'll send you a replacement one. So given that we have now um, established that these need to be in sequence, you, have, you now have the knowledge to troubleshoot your uh, fans if one is not working, see if they uh, uh, are in sequence or one is plugged in like a, if it skipped a slot or a socket, then that breaks the chain of the uh, signal. Um, one thing to, to note is on the other side here, there's a fan, let me see, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, like I said, if there is no fan uh, on number four here, if, uh, if you can see, let me take this off. I'll put this one on number two. It's not two right here. If you were to plug a fan, if you were to skip fan four, and if you were to plug it in on fan 5, like right down here, let me get this plugged in real quick. As you can see, fan 5 glows and spins. That is because this is a mirror part of the circuit from up here. So uh, it is important to note that you need, if you have three fans, you're going to have to plug it in on 1, 2, 3. Now you can't be 1, 2, 4. Or if you have two fans, it has to be 1 and 2, not 1, 3 or 1, 4. 
uh, basically follow the sequence. And the same on this side. So fan 5 will run. Fans, if you plug another one on fan 6 right here, it'll run. Fan 7, it will as long as they are, they are populated here. But the same as the, the one on the top, if you plug a fan and skip a connection here, it will not pass the signal along. And you will have a blank, let me see, I'll show you right now. I'm going to plug this on uh, fan connector number 7. See? No lights. But if I plug it in on fan 6, there we go. That's fan number five and fan number six. So always keep it in sequence. That's pretty much uh, all you need to do to troubleshoot it. If there are no lights at all, then that's another issue we're going to tackle right now. If your fans do not light up at all, uh, let me plug this in right here again. Okay, first thing to check if there are no lights on your fans would be the remote. It might just be a, it might just be an off. <laughs> so sometimes it's as simple as that. Just press the on button and there you go. Now in the case that you or somebody else might have played with the remote uh, and they might have held on or pressed the motherboard sync button. Uh, let me see here. It's actually not responding right now because it's not connected to a motherboard. So yeah, let me let me just uh, tell you about this feature here, the MB. If I can get this to focus. The MB means it will sync to your motherboard's um, RGB settings. Uh, it has this cable right here, which has a 3-pin ARGB connection. So, you know, these are the ones that plug into your motherboard so you can control your RGB via software and... Uh, Basically, you can hopefully don't ditch the remote. Just keep it. You need it. All right. <laughs> These are very hard to come by. So I don't think we have any spares that we can send out at the moment. So just hold on to these. Put this in a safe place if you are going to use software control um, just in case. So, yeah, once you have this connected to your motherboard, you need to hold this button down. I think it's you have to like, like tap it or hold it. And the RGBs on your uh, fans will sync to the ones that is configured on your motherboard. So if your motherboard is con configured uh, with a different color, you should see that reflect on your fans once you press that button. Now you can use your softwares like uh, Aura Sync or um, whatever your motherboard comes with. And you can control and set your different... Um, RGB patterns and colors on your fans that way. So I, uh, so far, so far that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing, I will disconnect this one to show you a specific connection that I actually do not have right now, but it is good to know. On this controller, as soon as it focuses, uh, you can see there's LED one here. So what that is for, it's usually a what, one, two, three, four pin. Yeah, it is a four pin connection. Uh, LED one and LED two are for auxiliary connections. For example, your RGB AIOs, your all-in-one coolers, they have that ring uh, right around the cooler itself. And they will have these connectors right there. So this is where they plug in. And again, they will sync with whatever you have going on with this controller or with the software on the motherboard. Depending on what mode you are, it will mimic whatever color and pattern is going on on your other fans. So that's pretty much for the SkyTech controller. Um, if you have any questions about this or if you're having difficulties with yours, um, just leave a comment down below and we'll... You know, as always, we'll do our best to help you out, troubleshoot further, and get your issues sorted. So let's move on to the other fan controller, and I will <laughs> I will get these all uh, sorted out, and we'll put the other fans in here. Stay tuned. All right, we are now moving on to the Inwin fans and controller. Now this is the simpler one of the two, and when I 
say simpler one it is really simple to troubleshoot these so basically uh, there are two types of fans for the in-wind configurations one will be this type of fan which has these connectors on it so you can see there is a set of two cables coming out from them one if I can get this to focus real quick give me a second Okay, one will be uh, the cable harness for daisy chaining the RGBs on it. So this part will be plugged in. The first fan will have this part plugged into your uh, ARGB connection on your motherboard. And then it will daisy chain onto the rest of the fans using this cable here. So basically this cable goes to the uh, next fan. It will be connected like so. And then the other tail of this will connect to the next fan and so on. The other side of the cable will be these um, <laughs> let, me, uh, let me try and focus this real quick again alright so these connectors here if you can see trying to get this camera to focus real quick here okay perfect all right, uh, this would be the cable that will provide the power and the speed to your fan. So like the other one, this will be connected to a fan port on your motherboard. And then the next fan will be connected here, like so. And then the tail of that next fan, like this one, will have the preceding fan connected to it as well. So if one of these things are not working on yours, then you can easily trace which of them uh, is not connected properly uh, to the chain. And you can literally take the fan off of the chain and bypass it to test if, uh, if one or two or three of the other fans will work properly once you connect them to the first fan. So that's basically this type of uh, Jupiter fan here. The other one um will have this type of connector on it so here we are again we are focusing uh, give me a second here we ought to focus on that i should probably switch to manual focus but here here we go okay so this is the other connector that the that fan has it's just very simple. It's just one. It's just going to need one of these to connect to its um, uh, fan controller here. The fan controller will be powered through SATA. See, this will be plugged into your SATA uh, harness on your power supply. And then the first fan plugs here. Okay. And then the next fan will plug in here. As simple as that one plugged in there and then so on and so forth up to about I think 12 fans is the limit for these although I would not recommend doing more than 10 uh, with just one uh, fan controller on it but yeah just be careful with that you usually your system will be configured in a way where it's safe for for the RGBs to function and not overload on its own so here we go this is the fan controller. This will change your uh, uh, RGB colors and patterns. And if you hold it down, it will switch it to motherboard sync, which you are going to have a cable running in from, let me see if I can focus here, uh, ARGB in. There's going to be a cable here connecting to your motherboard's uh, 5 volt ARGB. And if you have more than one of these, then this will chain onto the next controller. Okay, MB PWM connector here. That is where a cable would be connected to the motherboard's fan header. That way you can control the uh, speed of the fans, whether it'll spin up once your CPU gets hot or your motherboard's uh, other temp sensors get hot. And that would be that would be uh, set in the BIOS so that this can tell the fans to spin faster if you know your CPU is heating up it needs more air to exhaust the heat then that would be the one okay uh, another 
thing here is there's this two pin here. Usually it's not used, but if it is independently connected to a system, you can pretty much use this as a, um, basically what this is, is a switch. So you can use this switch to connect it to a button on your case. For example, nobody really uses the reset button on the motherboard. So in one of my builds, I have put the reset um, button on the case and I plugged it in here. That way the reset becomes the cycle uh, RGB colors and patterns on this board, on this controller. That way I'll change the fans uh, colors and patterns too using the reset button. And then this also has that four pin that we talked about on the previous controller, which your AIOs will connect to. So if you have a all-in-one cooler, usually they have that four pin where it can light up the ring around it and you can plug it right there. So with this one, like I said, uh, if one of your fans in the chain is not working, unplug it and then plug it directly here right there and then you can figure out if uh, that fan works or not and you'll see if that is the issue or it is the controller itself these rarely go bad so I mean there's not much issue that we have with these things uh, most of the time it's the fans that will have the problem so we can easily send out a replacement for that one so there you go there are the two most common connectors uh, I mean RGB fan controllers and connections in your pre-built let me fire this one up so you can see have our SATA connection here there we go so once it's connected to SATA you can change the colors with that I like this one this actually stacks up so yeah all right, if you have any more questions regarding any of the two controllers that we talked about, uh, write it down in the comments and we will definitely continue down there and help you out and make sure everything's working perfect in your system. All right, so that's pretty much it. And thank you, I appreciate you all. Thanks so much for watching. And if this video helped you out, please hit that like button not then leave a comment down below so we can troubleshoot your issues further and lastly don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon as well so you can be notified of the new helpful troubleshooting videos once they are uploaded we'll see you on the next one